Hey, hello people, my name is Rage, and welcome one and all to Afterbirth, and I have to say that I roll. I've really got the brains, and it fills me with pride to go on a win streak as I guard my number with ever-growing speed and extra-large fortitude as I bomb my way through floor to floor, having paid to play this game, so have a heart and give me a follow. I don't know, it just felt right! Don't judge me! I rule. Oh, I get it. So, shield, we've got the da- Alright, so we got the boomerang, of course. So, I'm gonna assume, then, that this is a homage to Legend of Zelda, where, of course, we're playing as the main character, Epona. <laughs> I can't see this being very hard, given that we get to start with Mum's Knife. That seems like quite an overpowered thing to have, but, you know, I certainly could be looking into it too much. I'll keep the double money, because I think we'll get generally more use out of that compared to the devil power boost, especially when we're already rocking the mum's knife, and it's just, yeah, you know, I think we're fine. And I also need to remember that I can, of course, use the boomerang for the obtaining of the uh, items, so that's nice. I doubt there's going to be item rooms, because otherwise this would just be a brokenly strong run. Like, absolutely, absurdly broken. I mean, I want to... In fact, I'm just going to melee everyone, because it doesn't really matter if I take any damage, because I'm about to break this poop, which means full health for everybody! Yay! Oh, God. Oh, that was... That was just destruction. I... I feel so very- OH MY GOD IT'S HAPPENING AGAIN! <laughs> I'm terrible at this game! I'm just terrible! Absolutely the worst player in this game's history! There, uh, there's no- there's no other evidence needed! That's- that's it! That just proves wholeheartedly that I suck and I should forever think about my life choices and repent them. I mean, I'll go check the final room. I do, of course, want to confirm that- Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a cotton-picking minute! We started with the key. It's not Satan that we have to kill. It's Mega Satan. In which case- Damn, son! That's okay. That's interesting. I mean, technically, it should still be fine with the shield and the knife. It's a good combination for the killing of Satan, but... Wow, that's quite interesting. So, yeah, now suddenly no item rooms puts quite a little bit of pressure on this challenge. I think I might need to take this. Nope, done with this room. Was gonna look for a secret room, but no, I really, really am done with that room in a big way. I think getting... A cube of meat or ball of bandages. Ball of bandages, great, is actually really, really good on this. On top of the shield, that should give us some nice defensiveness, especially when I ram my ball and dagger in enemies' faces. That will be a very potent combination there. We'll have a quick look in here, because of course we still can get devil deals and potentially angel ones, so if we get something like brimstone, then I don't actually know if that will override Mum's Knife. I don't know if they just have a hierarchy of what overall words god i suck at words i really do i really really do oh man i mean i'm just happy i don't give speeches for a living i really am because otherwise I i'd just be fired from everything so bad because it's just not good. I mean, I am very happy that I could at least have the ability to entertain you guys on YouTube because otherwise I'd be in a cardboard box so fast and it would be so sad and, and you know, I just, I just want to, sorry, sorry, I had some flashbacks there, I had some, had some flashbacks, nobody, nobody panic, that was absolutely fine, everything is a-okay, oh, <laughs> Oh, life is sad. Nah, life is wonderful. You know why life is wonderful? Because I'm in a very, very, very lucky position to be able to spare- Oh, my face! I'm in a very lucky position to be able to spend my face 
to be able to spend my days and time entertaining you guys and I wouldn't change that for the world. I really, really wouldn't and I am so eternally grateful that each and every one of you watching this right now chooses to do so. And I know it's soppy and, uh, you know, it's like, dude, you're just making a video on a game. Chill the fuck out, man. But, you know, it really does mean a lot, I have to say it. So, yeah, thank you very much. I am going to not take either of those, not because I desperately want angel rooms, but neither of them are that good, and really, I just, I just don't care, I just rightly don't care, so let's move, stab, stab, oh, well, I tried to stab, and it kind of nearly worked, infinite keys, yeah, totally useful, well, to be fair, it is actually quite useful, so, I suppose I shouldn't get too sarcastic. Having the shield in front of me is obviously fantastic when it comes to just tanking their faces off. Ah, no, but for real, for real, my I have worked quite a few things in my life, mainly as a waiter when I was in school and a little bit in uni. I've also been a builder. I fell through a roof on my first day of the job, so that can imagine how the rest of it went. I lasted roughly a month of being a builder before I was like, I, I can't. I, I just I just can't. Though apparently it's tradition for builders to fall through roofs on their first roof job, so I didn't actually get in too much trouble for that. Everyone just laughed at me because they were like, oh, what a silly mistake from the new guy. That's adorable. We've all been there. Little did they realize that would be the theme of damn near every single day. I mean, I tried my best to be a builder. I did. But you guys know me. Can you imagine me doing handyman heavy lifting labor type jobs? Like, can any of you even slightly comprehend me doing something like that? Because I would not forgive you. I w I, because I'm not going to forgive you. Because I would forgive you for thinking, that's not really your style, Rage. Um, a month's a lot longer than honestly I would have guessed. <laughs> and yeah, I really, really don't blame you. Uh, but, I mean, that said, what I will say is I genuinely enjoyed the experience, which may surprise you, because it was really quite fun. The camaraderie with your fellow workmen is actually quite strong, and you end up in a few really quite fun situations, and uh, there's a lot of good banter on a building site. You know, if you, if you ever feel like you need some good banter in your life, be a builder, because you'll get some really top-notch banter. I love the word banter. It's just a nice little word, isn't it? It's just it's just good to say. Granted, I'm assuming it comes from the expression bartering, expression or word, bartering, and that's how banter is invented, because otherwise it doesn't make a right lot of sense, I'll be honest with you. I'll go in the shop just in case there is something incredible in here. Ooh, BFF for seven. I'll take BFF for seven, definitely. That that seems like a really good decision because then we've got a meaty key. But no, it of course really helps us when it comes to the ball of bandages. So that's just absolutely flawless. Absolutely flawless. You think you can get me, but I will power through all of you. Oh, we have the ladder, I just realized. That's a really cool themed little... Uh, challenge mode here. It really, really is. Stain's obviously very easy. Binky's fine. Makes the knife tick a little bit more often, so I'm not too worried about that. And yeah, I guess we're ready to go on. So basically, the overarching strategy here seems to be... It seems to be just get to Mega Satan with a load of health, and then you can basically kill him with your starting item. So that's what we're going to go for. Whether it pans out, well, who knows? Also, there was one day uh, when I was working as a builder where an ice cream van pulled outside the house we were working at, and uh, I didn't really realize at the time that it wouldn't be appropriate for me to just stop working and go grab an ice cream, but I was like, ice cream van, yeah! And uh, went up, queued, and bought an ice cream, and just casually walked past to back to the work we were doing, which was someone's roof on a residential street, and... Uh, was just there with like a flaked ice cream with loads of sauce on, just like, yeah, look, guys, it's an ice cream fan. I just went and got an ice cream, and they're like, S seriously? And I was like, oh shit. I just realized, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You probably can't just do that. It's like you're working in an office and you just go downstairs and go get a random ice cream because you felt like it. And I had this horrible moment of, um. I'm having my lunch break. And they were like, yes, yes, you are. And I was like, that's fine. 
that's fine. So I worked through the lunch break later on. I was not very um, smart about it, I'll admit. It was when I was younger, in my defense, but still, oh, God, it's it's bad, isn't it? <laughs> it's very, very bad. Oh, I've had some interesting times in my life, and by interesting, I mean mostly completely awkward times in my life. We'll get them. Still obviously very keen to find a magic mushroom and end up doing a load of damage, but it's not completely necessary. I'm surprised, to be fair, I got nothing out of the uh, four golden chest room. It's normally a very big uh, power boost when you get there, because you normally get at least one of uh, the head-based items, but just not today, and that's kind of sad. An extra spirit heart's nice there, and what a very, very easy boss for us. And boomerang, and then stabarang! Good old stabarang. Tears and range, though, that's fine. We get the extra health with it, angels. Hey, that's really good. A little bit of flight there. We're kind of looking like a good holy avenger, so that's nice. No point blowing up the statue, of course, because we've already got the key, so... For now, I think this is worth moving on. I'm gonna go check the... I'm gonna go check the curse room just in case, because I'm kind of feeling it. I also do have a lot of uh, bombs, and I missed this chest. Ooh, slow worm. Does that work on the knife? Uh, not really that well. I feel like that's definitely one time that it's not a bonus to have the slow worm. Nothing crazy there. Anything crazy here? Just some spiders. Not really worth going back for. The speed up, however, is kind of good because then we can really uh, ram our dagger in people's faces with that much more efficiency. And it's all about that sweet, sweet efficiency. So let's roll it onwards. I mean, I don't know how I feel about this challenge. I mean, getting to Mega Satan, in theory, should be a piece of cake with this setup. It really should. This is obviously a very, very powerful start, and I don't see it being too altogether troubling. But then, obviously, you have the thing that you will take a while to kill Mega Satan with a base damage knife. So if you don't happen to find some damage ups from somewhere as you go through this, then you might end up having a bit of a problem. So I don't know. We'll we'll see. That's all I can really say at this point is uh, we will see. Laser spiders don't do very well when introduced to a knife. More speed! More speed! Libra would be kind of nice with the amount of non-damage stats we have going for us here. But I also think that... Whoa! Calm it. Calm it. I don't like that I actually can't get that bomb simply because... I would have to use one of the key things, even though I'm flying. They should really just give you the option to just not interact with them when you gain flight. Because why would you ever have a reason to, honestly? Bombs are keys, not really that worth it at this stage. But we will grab all of that stuff. The Curse of Darkness actually really affecting me at this point. Because uh, I really can't see anything. <laughs> like, genuinely, it's really bad on the dank depths to get Curse of Darkness. Because it's already very, of course, dark down here. Alright, these flies should be fine. I should go straight through and then also kill the bomb fly on the return journey. Well, mostly on the return journey then, I would say. And then bomb. And then here we go. Here we go. Well, kind of. Not the most efficient taking down of them. I will fully accept that. That, however, was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Good. This is going reasonably well. I could do with a few more orbitals, especially with uh, BFF. It would make everything really, really nice, but it's not that necessary. We're going to stab him to death, of course. I mean, was there any doubt whether we're going to stab him to death or not? We'll stab Greed to death. There we go. Ooh, that's a load of money to double there. I knew I was doing good keeping hold of this two of diamonds. I mean, we're in the dank depths once. There's only one real shop left, but... Damn it, I knew it was the right thing. So based on this then, I'm going to assume the boss is up here. I would wager on it. I mean, I wouldn't wager like my knife or something. I kind of need that to kill the things because without the mum's knife, this run is actually unbelievably weak. But still, I'm surprised we get the knife instead of the sword, actually, because the sword is uh, obviously more like a sword than a knife. But then I also think it's probably because uh, with the sword, it would be very difficult compared to with the knife and probably too difficult. We'll freeze him a little bit and then hopefully use this time to 
get a load of damage in, and we do indeed. Obviously, he's very easy to kill. That was fortuitous. Without that freeze, I think we probably would have at least lost a, a bit of the spirit heart. A load of health, but honestly, I'm kind of fine to get a load of health, because that's just nice. It just lets us tank it up against uh, Mega Satan that much easier. I'm assuming I still get my four chest items, so that's something we can look forward to, because it doesn't really matter which way we go up or down if we only have to kill Mega Satan, so obviously the chest is the most sensible decision for this. Free Spirit Hearts there is great, and our boss is on our right, so that should be fairly easy to get to. I'm thinking it's through here. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be good. My map finding skills do not disappoint yet again. Have you guys any got any embarrassing work stories? I'd kind of like to hear them. I bet there's quite a few. I think we all end up doing something like that every now and then. It just kind of happens, doesn't it? Because occasionally brain just disengages and you just do what you do. I do actually want to get to the shop. Now I think about it, I do want to get to the shop. Otherwise, all of this money, it becomes very, very pointless that I collected it, so we'll just stab you. I wish the shield was a physical thing that even if I rammed it into enemies, I can't physically get past them, so there's no danger of me taking damage from an over-ramming, but it does seem to happen from an over-ramming. Oh, I do believe so. We've accidentally over-rammed today. I do apologize terribly. It's uh, not something that happens often, but you will have to come back later and reschedule your ramming for now. And that's another speed up, isn't it? No, it's not. So tears down. Damn. That sucks. Hey. To be fair, that's kind of useful. We'll double up our money. Take the sack head. Obviously, take those options. It at least gives us one set of options, and it's a nice use for it. The stars is not bad. It'll give us a random teleport, and then we may as well buy up, because it's the final shop. Down. Do, 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 do. Cool. Let's go kill Mother, then, and probably also get this stuff, the moon, the moon. I'd rather have the moon. That lets us teleport a little bit further on into the next floor, so we will go for that. Two of hearts, that's kind of good, actually. Sorry, moon. I'm going to keep that for, hopefully, the Mega Satan fight more than anything. And both of them, look at that damage. That's a solid amount of damage there. And we do get a Devil Deal and a Boss Rush. Probably I should have realized that and kept the moon and teleported out. That was definitely my bad there. But I'm not too concerned. I mean, there would have to be something incredible in the Boss Rush for it to really be a problem. And if there was something incredible in the Boss Rush, and we will take Book of Belial, that's definitely better than the Boomerang, then we can just take it and do Yeah, see? I mean, oh no, we don't get shut new up. I mean, technically the Relic Generator's best there, but it's even then. I mean... We're not going to find ourselves missing it. We're really, really not. That is absolutely fine. I'm kind of happy because if I'd gone in there and there was like quad shot, I'd be like, oh, come on, every time. But then again, I would have taken quad shot and then destroyed the boss rush with quad shot. So really, I don't think it was that much of a dire situation. It's not like this is a timed run, so killing the boss rush wouldn't have been a big deal because I certainly, of course, would have gone for it if there was a very, very good quality item chilling there. Can you just stop with your blood splatters? That would be excellent. Just absolutely excellent. They are really proving difficult to kill. How is this even happening? I am so powerful right now. Alright, so what I'm going to do is basically this until the Liberty Cap decides to show me where the enemies are. And by enemies, I mean where the boss room is. Is it really failing? This is actually kind of nauseating. <laughs> I'm going to stop now. Oh, now it does it. Thanks a lot. I mean, I should be happy. I am happy, but come on now. Sun, we'll use that. Bit of death and the sun again. Well, we'll keep the sun because uh, it's obviously just a better full heal. And then we will go pay the curse room a visit just because we've got the flight to get a free initial enter to the place. It's like a free ticket admission to a theme park. Well, you've got flying, sir. Well, then, great news. I can give you special offers on entering the spike room of death. Give me a good one. Uh, that sucks. Health down. Very, very bad to get there when we need every scrap of health that we can, but we're just going to have to deal and... Well, I guess nothing ventured, nothing gained. And in this case, definitely nothing gained. 
on we pop do i want to use i probably i don't know because obviously keeping the sun for a heal on the mega satan fight is good but it's a too hot heal now so do i want to use it to get through the cathedral faster that might be a better use for it. I think there's definitely a few things we need to consider here. Two of spades we'll just use, two of diamonds we'll just use, and the rest of it we shall continue onwards. I mean, the Book of Belial is obviously nice. It's an exponential damage increase when coupled with the ridiculousness that is Mum's knife. So it's really nice to have there. In fact, this room is one of those rooms that I'm like, I could, I could do the room, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, no. Ooh, I think this room also definitely qualifies. This one, not so much, but I'm going to just prepare for it going wrong. And it didn't go that wrong. Well, no, it did go wrong. We lost two hearts. There's, there's no two ways about that. That room went disastrously terrible. I, I feel really bad about the whole thing. I hate leeches when I'm using Mum's knife because they always just prove really difficult to kill because I can't just spam tears out like normal and uh, get them. Calm down. You're fine. There we go. I just don't want all of them to end up with an extra enemy. Well, we got away with a whole one of them, so I guess I'll accept that. And conquest. Not great, because it's a waste. Actually, it's not a waste of Bob Drop, because we've got there's options. So, there we go. I knew it would be good to get it. But then again, when is it ever not good to get there's options? It's freaking there's options. Stab, 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 stab. Ah, oh, what? That is lame. I guess the speed up is technically still the better of the two choices because it's at least something we can take with us, but I feel royally screwed out by it. Screwed out? That's not even an expression, is it? Oh, good. Joyous days. Joyous days. And I suppose we'll bomb these two and see what we get out of there. I guess what I will do as well is do that just to simply gain the free flies from that trinket. But for the most part, we're now going to eliminate him and just end up with uh, not a lot. So yeah, I think because I have so many bombs, I am going to use a few to get through uh, this floor a little bit better. Unless a room is really quite easy, then I, of course, will leave it choker. Oh... Ooh, ooh, I'll keep the Joker for now, because my plan is, uh, if we don't get a devil deal on this floor, then obviously I will Joker it, but if we do, then I'll keep the Joker for the chest and uh, end up getting an extra devil deal on either the cathedral or the chest. Doesn't really matter which one we end up going for. So that should be fairly all right. You know, without Book of Belial, our damage really is quite pathetic, but there's not much we can do about that. Have we had a little reveal of where the boss is yet? Not especially. That sucks as far as uh, Curses of the Maze go. Actually, no, that was fine. I really thought I was going to get hit. Hey, all right, there we go. Found the boss really nicely and some nice worms to kill with the power of knives and flying. I mean, it is kind of overpowered. Like, if you're facing literally worms and you're like, I need the power of flight and a magical telekinetic knife of doom. Really, dude? It's it's a worm. Like, what, what are you... What are you doing, man? All right, it lives. Let's hope that I can easily take you out. I am one-shotting the eye, so that's really, of course, lovely. And there we go. And then in theory, we can just stand close enough like this and annihilate. Cool. So that's good. We do get a devil deal. So in that case, we could be a little bit greedy and go for an extra one on the cathedral in the hope that we get some nice sweet bonuses. I think knowing these spirit hearts are here makes it definitely worth doing. I can see forever, kind of nice and pretty fly. That is wonderful. So we'll have a quick look in here. Oh really, no secret room. I thought for sure it would be in the room next to the boss. Really, must be in this one. Must be. It's gotta be, right? No, it's not. That's very interesting. I'm really shocked the super secret isn't this close to the boss. Do I really care enough to go hunt them down? Like, at best, what is the secret room gonna do for me? That's what I gotta answer, because I'm certainly not gonna go back down this way. I guess what I should do, since I'm keeping the Joker, is uh, use the sun 
And then we'll find out. Oh, I can actually get into the devil room via the use of the secret room. So with that knowledge, suddenly this is very much worth clearing. So I will do that. Damn you, making me change my tactics. I hate you all right now. And there was actually a tinted rock in here, which I totally knew about. I was just seeing if you guys were going to remember it, obviously. And not the best one we've ever had in the world, but I guess not terrible either. Oh, okay, now it was definitely worth it. The spirit heart is lovely. So, oh yeah, I remember why I even went over here to go into the curse room and grab Hagalaz. Well, I'm sure happy I didn't play two whole hearts to be disappointed, because we can be disappointed for free! Yay! Alrighty, to the cathedral we go. I mean, it doesn't really matter which floor we use the Joker on, I suppose. We may as well use it straight away to try and get a little bit of a power boost. I don't know, I'm kind of feeling this. I think we probably got it. I've got a lot of health to work with. Let us see. And we finally get Krampus. That's a shame. That is a crying, crying shame. Quite literally crying shame, because we do spend a lot of time crying as Isaac Inions. And yeah, there's really no reason for me to take Krampus's head there, because the Book of Belial is just way better, because we can really get a lot stabbier with it. And uh, you know how I feel about getting stabby with things. And we have 20 bombs, and the best use of these bombs is, of course, to skip the hell out of everything. So that's exactly what we are going to do here. Unless there is a real reason to clear the floor, which this one... Oh, come on! That is very, very unlucky, followed by very, very unlucky. And then nearly, nearly again. Stop knocking the leech, man! The leech is allowed to do what it wants. There we go. That sucks. I mean, I'm killing this room on principle that I hate this room now, because it really did a number on me. There we go. That's really quite a shame. I guess we'll go in here and see what's up. I mean, all right then, Widow. I guess you didn't want any help in this room. I guess that's, that's fine. And two normal chests. I'm sure happy that I went for this. Uh, all right, we'll ignore you guys now, because... I'm not really willing for that to happen a second time. We'll kill you, because you're very easy to kill, and it gives us a free extra room. That's probably more useful at this stage, so I will keep that. I don't want to go in the curse room, even if uh, it has something good. It's not worth giving up two spirit hearts for, so unless we can get a secret room in there, which I can obviously easily check here. Hopefully we do. I mean, it would be lovely. Nope, we do not. That is such a shame. I mean, there might be... Oh, God. Oh, God. Keep on there. Wait for the secondary charge. And... Wait, wait. There we go. That was actually quite a detailed skip there. If you guys could die, that would be lovely. I hate leeches with Frickin' knife! Ah! Oh. <sighs> you know... Oh, wait, I've got... I can see forever, and I'm there checking for secret rooms. Aren't I just amazing at this game? Just absolutely amazing at this game in every single way. Just more than you could ever believe. I am so sorry for my general incompetence. You know it's bad when you get to the point where you actually feel like you need to apologize for how bad you are at this. Ooh! Oh, I was really, really excited when I saw the head there. I nearly perthrowed it, but then I realized we're going to the chest, so obviously I should keep that for a swap of the four items that we are going to be offered. So we're just going to kind of chill with that for now, and our boss should be over here. I'm going to kill the sloths just in case of a... Actually, even if we got a joke, we've already jokered this floor. I'll still do it, because we could drop Hierophant or something with at least some use, maybe Justice as well, just a kind of little boost. See, I'm not worried about clearing this floor. Isaac's a joke with Mum's Knife, of course he is, but the thing is, we then have to kill Mega Saiyan, and if we get a really bad set of items, then that's not going to happen, so we'll see. We'll definitely see. I think either way, it's going to be close, and I'm going to have to really try my best when it comes to the Mega Satan fight. And I do suck when it comes to trying my best, so wish me luck, everybody. Wish me luck. I mean, I'm just going to play this until it explodes, because I might as well live to die. You will die alone. Thanks. 
Thanks. Really confidence boost there. Oh, well, that might be useful, depending on what it is, of course. A free spirit heart is always good. The main reason why I'm even playing this one. Your soul is in deep within darkness. All right. I mean, could we have some cheerful message? Believe in yourself. Yeah. Oh, but then my soul... So and then I should exercise more. All right, I see, I see. All right, that's, you know, whatever. You know, I'm, I'm not going to judge. I'm not going to judge, but I am going to now blow you up. But don't leave your house today. <laughs> Joke's on you. I never leave my house. <laughs> oh, no, but for real, that was... Oh, of course, it's a two of diamonds. Blank rune. No point in using that. Actually, what I'll do is I'll go to here and then blank rune, just in case it's a... Per throw, and it is not a per throw. I tried. I at least tried and thought about it a little. We'll go back to that. That was the magician. We got the two of diamonds, the spirit heart, and then back to the per throw rune, and then we're gonna blow this up. What do you got? Just some bombs. That's fine. Spirit heart? No, but a load of money. Of course, I then could have uh, gone back and uh, killed it, so that's typical, but I don't really mind too much. And finally, we've reached our boss, and there's only some chubs in our way. They are very, of course, killable with the piercing damage of a legend. Here we go. So, what I'm thinking is we can just kind of ram the shield on top of Isaac, and then there's not really much he can do. Yep, that was, that was challenging. I don't know about you guys, but I feel really, really challenged. <laughs> Okay, here it is. Now is when it begins. Please let these items turn out to be most useful. Watch them not be here. Okay, no, we have them. We have them. Okay, that's not great. Sissy, as much as I love Sissy, not great. Yeah, generally speaking, could be better. I'm very happy I kept Perthrow. And... Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Interesting. Will that give us Epic Fetus? It bloody will. With knives. Suddenly, I'm feeling a little bit confident, you know. I don't know. I don't know what it is that's giving me this feeling, but I'm feeling just a tad, tad confident. You know, I think, I think there's definitely potential here. <laughs> oh, the knives are wonderful. I love the epic fetus synergies that have been added in Afterbirth. That is brilliant. Obviously, I'm just charging the Book of Belial here. And we found some sloths with which to do it, so that's fantastic. I love that the spiders are somehow managing to resist all this, which is just typical. And then some more poison bombs. Awesome. Well, let's grab ourselves the virus and... Well, away we go. Away we go. This still might be difficult because I could only take a smidgen five hits, which does suck, but, you know, we are doing a lot of damage for the most part. Like, a really, really large amount of uh, damage. Especially now we've got Book of Belial to actually scale our epic fetus off. I want to get rid of Death first, and instantly, of course, he sends his uh, charger away. God damn him. But mostly two hitting the horseman is, of course, wonderful. 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 I mean, we hit him with one of the daggers, and again with one of the daggers, and not again with one of the daggers, and again with one of the daggers. This is gonna take a. It's gonna take a while, isn't it? It's gonna take a few. There we go. I did it, team. Nobody panic. Nobody panic. I did it. I did it. We're all okay. This should be annoying, but with the amount of daggers flying out, we should hopefully cleave through at least the lesser ones. So that's nice. And there we go. I don't want to take any unnecessary damage to these guys. That would be very embarrassing. We've only got a few hits left to work with. Because obviously we're going to kill Mega Satan very quickly here. And you know, this is of course the classic tale of when Link upgraded to commanded artillery from the sky in his effort to defeat Gammon. It was, it was quite a successful attempt, really. And there goes our last spirit heart. Fortunately, the thing with this is that it's also affecting his hands, which then do a big uh, chunk of damage when you kill them. But I'm also doing that damage to his face, so I'm not even really having to make the choice on what I go for. That does suck a lot that, of course, I accidentally was on top of that as it spawned, but shouldn't be too much of an issue. The virus actually giving us a black heart. That's very nice of it. There's a little buff to the virus, in case you don't know, so it's not as useless. You can get... 
black hearts from people who die to your virus touch. So, you know, that's nice. And then we can just pretty much stand here, because the shield and the orbitals should, in theory, block damn near everything as we slowly crack his skull down. Should be one more. Boom! There it is. Easy, easy, easy. Totally skilled it. Outplayed. Wonderful. And the poker chip. Interesting. All right, guys. Mine's been Rage. Remember, like, if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more. And I rule. Goodbye.